Hi, my name's Liam. I've been playing tennis for 10 years and I'm an energetic all court player. Hi, I'm Sue and I've been playing tennis for 30 years and I like grinding it out on the baseline. My name's Austin. I've been playing tennis for 15 years and I like to try and finish the point at the net. I thought the ball was coming off the racket great, loads of spin on the ball, really easy to control, not sort of overpowered, um, felt great initially. Quite nice to hit with, but a little bit um, of vibration in my arm, just felt it didn't feel 100% comfortable. And also, I felt like I was struggling to get some depth on the ball, so whether that was just me hitting or whether it was the racket, I don't know, but I just, yeah, I didn't feel like I could get it threw the ball very easily, I think. When I was on the run, because the, ra the racket didn't feel that heavy, so it was easy to manoeuvre around. So yeah, I didn't notice that so much, but maybe you're a bit more committed when you're running, so yeah. It felt really nice from the baseline. It felt like I'd been playing with it for years. It was an easy transition to start hitting with it. I found like I got a lot of power, but the racket allowed me to create lots of spin, which was made it easy to control the ball. So yeah, I really enjoyed it from the baseline overall. Yeah, I found it really easy to get top spin with. I could easily control the ball. When I was under a bit of pressure, I found out the racket, found that the racket created lots of spin, so I wasn't able to, um, I was able to keep the ball in the court, sorry. And uh, on the slice, yeah, I was able to create lots of nice slice on the ball, which was also really nice. Well, it's really solid off the frame, um, got a nice amount of cut on it as well with the slice. Um, obviously, a bit in a spin racket, it was really easy to get that. And then with the smashes, um, really easy on the shoulder, I was able to get loads of power from that, so that was great. Yeah, it wasn't quite as nice at the net as it was at the baseline. I found that, uh, I found, yeah, the racket had a lot of power, which I found it a little bit hard to control at the net. I found it a little bit harder to create the spin on the volley, which I found easier at the baseline. So yeah, I wasn't as good at the net, but still it was a nice volley. I got lots of power behind it. But yeah, when I got the smashes, it was yeah, extremely powerful. I could feel like I could just hit my spots easily with uh, lots of power, yeah. Felt really nice volleying. Yes, really liked it volleying. And smashes, yeah, it was okay. Nothing um, that I would obviously say was uh, outstanding, but just, yeah, felt comfortable. But volleying, definitely, I liked it a lot. Yeah, the serve so similar to the smashes really, I was easily able to create a lot of pace um, on the flat serve and I was able to get a lot of topspin on the kick serve which I found really nice and useful. No, that felt really comfortable as well, it, um, it moved through the air uh, smoothly, it felt. It didn't feel like it was um, an effort to serve. I didn't really feel the vibration so much when I was serving, it was, it was more just on the groundies really. Not too heavy, I think it's about 305 grams, so um, easy on the arm, on the shoulder, I was able to hit the ball pretty hard. Yeah, it can generate a lot of power, even though it's sort of more of a spin orientated racket, I felt it was coming off really big. Well, I like trying to hit with spin as well, but maybe, uh, yeah, I didn't feel like it was massively giving me loads of spin, but maybe it was and it was making it go shorter. I don't know, maybe. Didn't feel 100% comfortable with my arm, but for, for me personally, but there wasn't anything that I would say was against it from being able to play that sort of game with it. I think so, yeah. Um, when I was put under pressure, when I was having to run for the ball, um, I thought the spin and the control I got from the racket was, was great in terms of getting the ball where I wanted it and also when I'm looking to step in and sort of go into, into what's the net. I thought it had a great balance between the two so I was, I was able to hit any shot from anywhere on the court. Definitely, I felt like the, I was able to create a lot of power and with that came the spin. The spin came really easy, I didn't have to try too hard to get the top spin and especially on the kick serve, I found out the kick serve was really, really nice with this racket. Yeah, I think it's a really, really nice racket. It looks really sleek. I think the grey and the sort of yellow complement each other really, really well, and it's something that would stand out to me and I would look to buy off the shelf. Don't like the colours so much, but I really like the matching Dumby <laughs> that comes with it. I think definitely easier than the previous model, which was all yellow. Um, I do think I'd prefer the, the grey and the yellow. It looks a bit nicer when I'm on, on court. No, that's, that's a fair price, I think. It's a quality racket, fair price. I personally um, probably wouldn't be going for it, but it's a fair price for a good quality racket, I think. It would suit lots of players. 
I think it generally today um, on the market it compares pretty well with all the other rackets that are out there. Um, and definitely if you're looking for a spinning or orientated racket, I think this is definitely the one to choose. Yeah, I think that's really, really uh, fair. It's a really nice racket, 175 degree I'd definitely pay that myself and um, yeah, I think that's a good price.